When you think of SpaceX and the moon, one name usually comes to mind, Starship. It's the bold, massive rocket that Musk promised would carry humans and cargo to deep space. But sometimes even the biggest rockets face setbacks. That's exactly what's happening now. After a string of Starship issues, SpaceX is turning to an older but reliable friend, Falcon Heavy, to help NASA reach the moon. Something important is changing, and in this video, we'll explore exactly what and why. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss more space updates. To understand what's happening, we need to look at both rockets, Starship and Falcon Heavy. Starship is supposed to be the future. It's designed to be fully reusable, with a goal of carrying over 100 tons to low Earth orbit. That's more than any rocket in history. But so far, Starship is not delivering as expected. Test flights have failed. And worse, the rocket's performance numbers are falling short. Instead of 100-plus tons to orbit, recent estimates suggest Starship is only achieving around 40 to 50 tons. That's half of what was promised. This shortfall is not just a technical problem, it's a program risk. Starship is supposed to be a key part of NASA's Artemis program, which plans to send astronauts back to the moon. In fact, Starship was selected to land astronauts on the lunar surface, but now, with delays and underperformance, NASA's timeline is under pressure. They need a reliable solution fast. That's where Falcon Heavy steps in. Falcon Heavy might not look as futuristic as Starship, but it's proven and reliable. It's built by strapping three Falcon 9 boosters together, and it's been flying since 2018. So far, it's completed 11 missions successfully with a strong safety record. While it's only partially reusable, meaning the entire rocket isn't recovered like Starship aims to be, it still offers impressive capacity. Up to 63 tons to low Earth orbit. That makes it the most powerful operational rocket available right now. Because of these strengths, NASA is now using Falcon Heavy for key lunar missions. One of the most important is the launch of the first two Gateway modules. Gateway is a small space station that will orbit the moon, supporting future crewed landings. These modules were originally meant to fly on Starship, but with the delays, they're now scheduled to ride Falcon Heavy instead, possibly in 2027. This is a big shift in planning. It shows that NASA and SpaceX are now building a hybrid system. Starship will still handle crewed lunar landings, but Falcon Heavy will handle near-term cargo missions, helping Artemis stay on track. This reduces risk and gives NASA more flexibility. Even if Starship continues to face issues, Falcon Heavy can keep things moving. There are also other missions lined up. In December 2025, Falcon Heavy will launch the Griffin Lunar Lander as part of Astrobotics Mission 1. This robotic lander will head to the moon's south pole, carrying instruments and experiments. This shows how Falcon Heavy isn't just a backup. It's becoming a regular part of lunar missions. Meanwhile, the Commercial Lunar Payload Services is using Falcon 9 rockets to send smaller robotic missions. In early 2025, Firefly Aerospace will launch its Blue Ghost Lander aboard a Falcon 9, and Japan's ISPACE is sending its Resilience rover using similar systems. Together, these missions show how SpaceX's existing rockets are already supporting lunar exploration. This also brings up an interesting debate. Is Falcon heavy enough for more than just cargo? Some people argue that it might be a better option than Starship in the medium term. After all, it's available now, it's cheaper to operate, and it has fewer technical problems. Others point out that Falcon Heavy isn't as reusable and can't match Starship's long-term goals. It also can't deliver the same payloads directly to the moon. From NASA's point of view, the choice is about balance. Starship promises big rewards but comes with risk. Falcon Heavy offers stability but has limits. That's why NASA is keeping both on the table. It gives them more options as Artemis continues. This dual-track system also affects how the Artemis missions are planned. By using Falcon Heavy to launch early parts of the Gateway Station, NASA will have to adjust the way these parts connect in orbit. That means changes in timeline, docking systems, and even the orbits used. All of this adds complexity, but it also spreads out the risk. Another area to watch is politics and policy. The Artemis program includes the Space Launch System, 
SLS rocket, which is expensive and built by older contractors. Some lawmakers are now pushing for SpaceX to take a bigger role, possibly replacing Space Launch System, SLS, in the future. This would make the program cheaper, but it's controversial. There are also environmental debates, comparing reusable rockets like Starship to single-use ones like Space Launch System, SLS. Looking ahead, Starship is still moving forward. Engineers are working on improving its engines, reducing weight, and fixing design issues. If they succeed, Starship could eventually take over all deep space missions, including Mars, but that's still years away. For now, Falcon Heavy is the bridge. This isn't the first time NASA had to pivot. In the past, missions were delayed or restructured based on rocket availability. What makes this different is the speed of private space progress. SpaceX can change direction fast, and NASA is taking advantage of that. So what are the takeaways? First, Starship is not ready, and that's affecting lunar plans. Second, Falcon Heavy is stepping in to make sure Artemis doesn't stop. And third, NASA is now working with a mixed system, using the best tools available at each step. We've already seen Falcon Heavy take on big roles, and in a few years, it may become the most important rocket for lunar cargo. Whether it remains in that role depends on how fast Starship matures. Until then, Falcon Heavy is proving it's more than just a backup. It's the rocket keeping our lunar goals alive. The race back to the moon is full of changes. While Starship aims for the future, Falcon Heavy is carrying the present. If SpaceX can fix Starship, it may still become the rocket that lands humans on Mars. But for now, Falcon Heavy is the one making real progress. The next few years will show whether this mix of rockets works or if one will truly lead the way. But while Falcon Heavy is helping the U.S. stay on course for the moon, something very different is happening on the other side of the world. In recent months, a quiet but serious effort has been taking shape in China. At first glance, it might seem like just another chapter in the global space race. But if you look closely, you'll notice something strange, something familiar. From the shapes of the rockets to the engine choices to the way they plan to land, the designs look eerily close to what we've already seen from SpaceX. China appears to be closely studying SpaceX's playbook in its rocket development. And not just one company, multiple firms, both private and government-backed, are suddenly chasing the same ideas that made SpaceX successful. Reusable boosters, vertical landings, methane engines, and stainless steel structures. Is this a coincidence or a calculated move? The truth is, there's a lot more going on beneath the surface. From top-level rocket redesigns to quiet launches and test programs, this story is far bigger than it seems. And the race for lunar dominance may not just be about who gets there first, but how closely one path mirrors another. In another video, we'll explore these developments in detail, what China is building, how it compares to SpaceX, and what it could mean for the future of space exploration. That was it for today's video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.